Hi loves, so I hope you can see me okay. And eh. it's 6.31. Let me let you guys see. So today I'm gonna do like um, a kind of a first time. I don't even know if I should call it a tutorial because uh, this is my first time trying this. So what I have today is a crochet, I guess, twist braid tutorial. <laughs> All right, so I'm using two different colors. These are 60 inches long. Um, they were $7.99 at my local beauty supply store. And it's the Rumba Twist. And it says Crochet Braid Fast and Easy Styling. Afri it's from the African Collection from the Makers of Expression. I mean, you guys don't really need to know all that. You just need to know this is how it looks inside the package. I'm going to do I struggled with picking the color because I did not know what I wanted to do. So I picked burgundy and black. Here's the burgundy right here. So I'm going to take it out. It's not a lot in this pack. I was going to get the ombre one. I think that one was $10 and it was going to be from black to burgundy. But I just decided to get this one. And gonna go ahead and they all just fell <laughs> okay now I pick my hair up off the ground so this is what it looks like and you're gonna need a all you need is really these two things right here I did my mom so I hope it really works on me and this is the crochet needle and I don't know how I'm gonna see the back of my hair I guess I'm just gonna fill around for it okay so I am about halfway done and I have to go put on a shirt over my dress because doing this made my makeup like stain my shirt so so far i've used a whole pack of 1b and a whole pack of burgundy so i have a pack two packs open and one pack on the floor that's closed and i'm about to show you guys how i'm doing over here now i can't see what i'm doing i haven't been able to see this whole time so i've just been really feeling my way through and i've been putting mostly well I try to keep the burgundy like up here because I really want the front to be mostly black with a few strings. So I'm going to try to show you guys how I've been doing this. You are able to see. I put the hook in. I wrap the hair around the hook. Close the hook if I could find it bring the hair back through and I really hope you're able to see take the loop right here bring the hair through pull it down and I tie it just one time pull it really tight and that's how I'm able to achieve it I'm going to also show you again, like when I get up here, because I know you probably really couldn't see that because for some reason it's dark over here. So far, I'm super in love with these crochets. This is my first time and I absolutely love it. Now, I don't know if I'm supposed to go in, if I'm supposed to go down or if I'm supposed to go up, but I've been going all types of ways Okay, so I want to show you guys the back, and hopefully you can see it. Alright, so I don't even know what it looks like. I'm going to look when I see the footage though. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the front to put on. And this way I can show you guys little bit easier so 
hopefully you can see so you take the loop of this I just and take the needle or the hook grasp or you know clasp it on close the hook and pull it back through take the hook off and bring the braid through or the twist through and this is my edge so <laughs> I need my edge or my edges so I'm being really gentle and you just tighten it and that's really it so I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of these and I think five packs was just enough like if I need to I'm gonna go let me pull the camera back if I need to I'm gonna go and purchase another pack but this is pretty heavy it's 60 inches it's not heavy heavy but it's heavy enough okay so i finished these at 7 31 i started at 6 33 so it took me 58 minutes to do this hairstyle i'm super in love like i'm super impressed i just watched the footage back where i was showing you guys the back and i saw a few gaps so i filled them in and um y'all <laughs> people go to like you know the african um hair braiding salons where they do like these twists and box braids and they're in there for hours so this took 58 minutes and you get the same exact look and i didn't go too far on the edges up here my mom made this braid really big so that's why it looks like it's a huge space but other than that this took 58 minutes guys can we just ponder on that real quick and i would it's actually eight o'clock now um the footage actually got lost or deleted like i don't know what's wrong with my sd card but um i deleted i mean i recorded the whole video and then it was actually i showed you guys on the phone it was 7 31 but that video got deleted but i promise you this only took 58 minutes 58 minutes i absolutely love this like I haven't had braids or twists or anything like this, single braids, in a very long time, two to three years, because I started wearing wigs like a couple years ago. So that was my newfound love. Braids was actually my first love, box braids. But um, yeah, I absolutely just fell in love with this. It looks so beautiful it cost me forty dollars to buy the hair again i bought six packs ranging at eight dollars each so that's about forty eight dollars um but i didn't use six i gave my mom a burgundy pack and i just used this um these five packs that i had left i thought i was going to need another pack but this is full enough it's a nice weight like <laughs> it's 60 inches long so it comes to like my belly button um I'm sure if I stand up and flip it to the back, it'll come to, like, um, my butt or something. But, oh my gosh, y'all, I absolutely love this. This is, like, my going to be my go-to hairstyle when I'm in school this summer. This this or wigs, like, <laughs> I promise. Like, this is so pretty. Um, Again, so technically, this only cost me $40 because I only used five packs. If you want it fuller, you can add more. But I, this is this is good enough. This is a nice amount like this is good enough you don't need any more than this like this is good um so far the hair is soft oh okay so my plans was to i'm going to an event for my business on april 17th so that's like two weeks and a couple days from now um i don't want to wear these to the event i want to be i want to wear my wig that i just purchased and it's um 
an ombre well not ombre but it's dyed ends and um it's brown at the end and it's like a light not a light but a curl and i really want to do that because i just have like an outfit in mind for the event and i want that hairstyle so this this is only going to be in for two weeks and i don't even mind that it because it only took me 58 minutes so a 58 minute hairstyle lasting and i'm sure this will last probably two to three months if i didn't take it out in two weeks i'm only taking it out because of the event for my business that's the only reason so probably this week i'm gonna wear it like so with the twist um and then maybe in a week i'm gonna unravel it so it'll just be like hair um so i'll come back and do that if you guys want me to and so i'm gonna wear it like a week a week with twist and a week unraveled and i'm gonna see how that goes and that is it now i'm about to insert unnecessary selfies now i'm about to get on snapchat and take unnecessary selfies as well yes y'all see that selfie ah that was cute that was cute <laughs> All right, guys, um, you can um, follow me on Snapchat. You can follow me on Instagram, you guys. If you like this video, subscribe. If you want more videos like this, just let me know in the comment section. Now I'm about to record a very special video for you guys because, let me tell you a secret, I reached 10K. <laughs> I'm so corny. But thank you so much for 10K, and I'm going to thank you even more in the next video. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. And I hope, and I know this wasn't really a tutorial because I really didn't know what I was doing when I was really learning. So it's just like a semi-tutorial slash learning process. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed.